Good morning everyone and welcome to today's morning report with me Richard Perry market analyst at Hantech Markets for Wednesday the 5th of March. Um, this uh, situation in the Ukraine has, um, has continued to uh, calm down a little bit and uh, given investors more of um, a focus back on uh, back on fundamental data um, and uh, certainly overnight, the uh, the handover from the states was very positive. The uh, S and P 500 again pushing to a back to a new all time high, um, and also Asian markets followed on the back of that. Um, the weaker yen um, allied to uh, the flight back towards riskier assets um, certainly helped Asian stock markets higher. In European trading, though, there's been a slight error of caution. I think more to the fact that um, they had such a big rise yesterday, um, but also the fact that you've got such significant amount of data out today. The um, the data that we're looking out for is, um, is beginning to come through now. The European PMIs for the services sector beginning to filter through. Italian PMI for the services that beat expectations quite strongly actually back into uh, expansion territory there for the Italian PMI. Also French uh, PMI for the services sector also slightly better than expected at 47.2 as well. Um, so that is going to be um, the focus that uh, European markets are going to have I think early in trading. You got the UK at uh, 9:30 GMT, but then you move on towards all the US data, the big, uh, big um, employment number for the ADP employment report, which, in many people's eyes, gives a little bit of a, an indication as to the. Um, Non-farm payrolls on Friday, which everyone will be focusing on towards the back end of this week, uh, 158,000 is the expectation there, down from 175 last month. Um, you've also then got the uh, US ISM non-manufacturing number that is uh, expected to come in at 53 and a half, down from 54. Um, so uh, that could well have an impact on the dollar or the strength of the dollar this afternoon. But certainly at the moment, um, risk is um, tending to be fairly positive um, in the currency markets at, uh, anyway, at least. Uh, Japanese yen is weakening, as I said earlier. That's um, breaking higher on dollar yen. Uh, and also the uh, what... Um, it's going to happen is the uh, I think throughout the session is that as these PMIs filter through for the UK and uh, and uh, the European markets as well, the um, risk appetite will tend to start uh, to improve once more after a bit of a consolidatory period at first up. But but um, the uh, chart of the day that I'm going to be looking at is um, Euro Yen, and uh, Euro Yen has been in this. Uh, pretty much broad consolidation band above 138.63 but uh, been capped by this falling 55 day moving average which currently comes in at 141.01 um, which certainly capped the uh, the two highs uh, of the previous um, few days. However you're seeing overnight um, this move higher. You've seen in early hours of trading European time um, a move back above uh, the overnight high of 140.57 and it now looks like um, the euro yen is building again for a retest of these uh, these range highs uh, and uh, I think uh, that is certainly a positive um, positive development with the moving averages turning higher the momentum indicators also uh, looking fairly positive as well the um, RSI turning higher the MACD again turning higher stochastics also turning higher as well uh, so I think what we're going to see ultimately is a, a retest of these highs on euro yen as uh, as we have done over the past couple of weeks and uh, whether we can break above the uh, that key 141 uh, 10 to 141 26 um, resistance band I think um, will be interesting I think the daily chart so back on the daily chart this is um, the daily chart I think continues to be fairly neutral in terms of outlook on the momentum indicators but uh, certainly I think the fact that uh, Monday's sell-off and the risk um, sorry the flight to safety didn't break below that uh, 138.63 mark certainly will give the uh, the bulls some um, some confidence I think to push this one higher certainly if the uh, Ukrainian situation begins to um, begins to calm down uh, further and uh, I think that's uh, probably what we're going to be seeing now 
um, is, a, is a, an improvement in risk appetite on the back of that and you can well see that filter through with a, a push higher in Euro Yen. Anyway, I wish you good luck in your trading of Euro Yen today and I will speak to you later. Thank you.